Okay, I wanted to review with you uh, how you go about submitting a file via Blackboard. And even if you've turned in files via Blackboard in another class, I'd still like you to go through this. Uh, some people in the past have used the Digital Dropbox feature. I don't use Digital Dropbox for turning in files, so here's how you'll do it. From time to time, you'll get an assignment where you need to submit an actual file to me for grading. Uh, this is an example here. In this particular class, they need to create a doc file, a DOC extension. Could be a DOCX extension, of course, with Word 2007. And this file will need to be turned in to me. Now, for this particular assignment, for this class, they can use a number of different programs to create their DOC or doc file. In other classes, you may have a specific program and a specific file you need to use, so make sure you read the directions. So I'm here, I'm looking at this. Now my view might be a little bit different than yours, but I'm looking at this assignment and I get some basic directions here. Um, on some of these, you'll click on the title. You can either click on the title of the assignment or you can click on this view complete assignment down here and you'll basically get to the same place. And here you'll see whatever text was on the original view. You'll also be able to download any direction files. In many situations, I'll be providing you a PDF file or some other kind of file that you'll need to download and open so that you can get the directions in more detail. Generally, if I can get the basic directions in just a paragraph or two, I'll just type them right within the Blackboard. Um, but if the directions need a little bit more information and perhaps some screenshots and things, I'll provide you a document, a one or two or three page document, so that you can download and print it a little bit easier and look through that. But in any case, you look through the directions. Now, once you have created your doc file, you'll be submitting it down here. Now, I'll kind of give you a more real life example. I'm going to jump over to my Google Docs and I'm going to create a new document. So I'm here in Google Docs and I'm going to create a quick document. And even if I sometimes forget to tell you, it's always a good habit, put your name at the front there. So, And uh, I'll put in the class title, sure. 178 for this particular example. And then you go through the particular assignment. All the assignments will be different. Sometimes it'll be a question and answer kind of thing. Sometimes I'll ask you to go out and do something and document what you did by typing in some steps. And very often I'll ask you to provide some screen captures where you actually take a picture of what's on your screen and then you paste it into your document to show me what you did and you know so I can see that you did it. In many situations, a screen capture is really the only way that I can tell that you've accomplished a particular task. So basically, you'll have your stuff, answers to questions, steps taken to accomplish a task, and screen captures showing success. There we go. So you'll have all your stuff on there. And of course, like anything, save frequently, do some spell checking and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and file. And I'm going to export as Word. I'm here in Google Docs, which is an online application. So I'm going to export it. And I'm going to save it to my desktop. There we go. I'll give it a more descriptive name. I'll call it Practice Assignment Submission. Okay, and it's been saved, and you can't really see it right now, but it is saved to my desktop. Okay, so then I'll be back in Blackboard here. All right, so I've got my file done, I've checked it, I've proofed it, I've made sure it's all complete, and I'm 100% sure I'm going to get an A. So now I'm ready to turn it in. So I move on down here, and there is a comment section. I'm so Many situations, depending on how I get the assignments from you, I sometimes skip past this comment section because I often download all the submitted homework at once where I don't see this comments area. So if you have a question about an assignment, this is not the best place to put it. Um, so I would skip over this section. Here's how you're going to turn in your file. Attach a local file. I'm going to browse for it. Now the file I want to turn in, I know is on the desktop. And uh, here it is. It's my practice assignment submission DOC file. If you're working with lots of files, sometimes I'll advise you. Click on the uh, details view and then click on date modified a couple times so that way you're looking at the most recent files up at the top 
So I can see that my most recent file that I worked on was on September 4th, which is the day I'm making this video. And there's my Word document. It's a DOC file. See, so yeah, you can even see the DOC extension. If I ask for a file with a particular extension, make sure that's what you get me. I'll double click on it. Now it's in there. And if I wanted to, I could add another file. Uh, sometimes you'll need to submit several files. Sometimes you'll need to submit several files that are zipped up together into one file. Now here's where a mistake can easily occur. Um, you don't want to just click the Save button. Okay, obviously cancel if you want to, hey, oh, crap, I did the wrong file or I have to rework it. But what you need to click is the Submit button. And then OK. So the Submit button is an important button. Now I can't show you here because I don't have the same kind of view that you would have, but then you could click on My Grades. Now if you see an exclamation mark, that means you submitted a file to me and it's waiting for me to grade it. Doesn't mean you submitted the correct file, just means you submitted a file. You could always click on your little exclamation mark in your grades and you could open up the file that you sent me so you can see what I'm going to see. Make sure you did it right. Um, now if you click on My Grades and you see a padlock symbol, that means you probably clicked the Save button, but you didn't click the Submit button. If you have a padlock symbol, I can't open your file to grade it. So, keep an eye on that kind of stuff. Hitting the Save button doesn't mean you've turned in a file, so homework assignment could still be late, even if you click that little Save button. you got to click the Submit file to let me know when you turned it in and then it's ready to be graded.